Assalamu alaikum. Today is the Easter. This is the occasion that the Christians celebrate that Jesus alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, has risen up from death after three days. And Muslims, on the other hand, believe that Jesus was never crossed or, or was never has never died, and he was rising also to Allah alive. So that's a major difference between Muslims and Christians. But some Muslims refer to one ayah that suggests otherwise. So in this short video, we're going to talk about this ayah and its meaning and what's the reality about Jesus alayhi salam. The ayah I'm referring to is in Surah Ali Imran, chapter 3, ayah number 55. إِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ Allah says, يَا عِيسَى O Jesus, إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ And mutawafika is used in the Arabic language in a way is like you're dying. Wafa is death and and um, maut is death. Mata is the past. Tawaffa is the past. They are using exchangeably for wafa. So Allah says in the ayah that I mentioned, Inni mutawafika warafiuka and rising you. Warafiuka ilayya to me. Warafiuka ilayya wa mutahiruka min alladina kafaru and purifying you from those who did not believe. So the confusion comes that if this ayah suggests that inni mutawafika, did Allah make Isa die? So that where some confusion comes and we will highlight the differences between maut and wafa, mata and tawaffa, those two words that are used in the Arabic language exchangeably. What do they mean in the Quran by example? The actual meaning of the wafa versus maut, maut is maut, maut is death. Wafa could mean death, but it's not necessarily meaning death. I'll, I'll tell you in the Quran. Wafa or tawaffa means someone is finishing the job and they're not having any chance to do more. It's used when the human, the servant, is not responsible for their action. So it could be death. It could be when the person is asleep and it could mean if any job is completed in, if any job is completed in Arabic we could say tawaffa al-mal but we use stawfa al-mal and they mean slightly different but the same meaning that took the whole money there is no remaining money tawaffa al-mal so tawaffa means finished the task per se and when someone dies they finish the task in the Hayat al-Dunya, so that explains why it could mean that someone died. But it's not necessarily meaning someone died. I'll give you a couple of examples from the Quran where it says, Allahu yatawaffa al-anfusa hina mawtiha. Allah yatawaffa, finish the task of the anfus, of the souls, عند mawtiha, عند hina mawtiha, hina mawtiha, at the time of death. When people die, their, their soul's task is finished. So Allah finished the task of their anfus. The remaining of the ayah, lam tamut, And those souls that did not die, tamut, die, did not die, fi manamiha, that they are in, uh, asleep. So Allah yatawaffa al-anfus in both ways, in death or asleep. So that's in the ayah number 42, in Surah Al-Zumar, chapter 39. The other example I want to tell you about is وَهُوَ الَّذِي يَتَوَفَّاكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ He is the one who does wafa for you at night. So what does it mean? That means that when someone is asleep, they are in the wafa status, that they are not really responsible, they don't control their actions. وَهُوَ الَّذِي يَتَوَفَّاكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَيَعْلَمُ مَا جَرَحْتُمْ بِالنَّهَارِ He knows what you committed at morning. That's in Surah Al-An'am, chapter number 6, ayah number 60. So it's clear that wafa means that someone is irresponsible, is not 
responsible, I should say, for their actions. They are done with their task by death or by going to sleep or by any other mean. So for the story of Isa alayhi salam and how his life went, at the end, they planned to kill him, to, to put him on the cross, but in the Quran it says clearly, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ They did not kill him, they did not even put him on the cross, they put somebody else on the cross, وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ They thought that they have done that, as if, okay? And that is in Surah An-Nisa, in chapter number 4, ayah number 157. At the end of that same ayah, it says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ يَقِينَ They were not sure, they did not have yaqeen that they killed Isa. They thought that, oh, we might have killed Isa. But Isa was never killed. He was raising to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to the heavens in the same moment and somebody else was crossed. So on the Easter, every year, what I remind myself and the only thing that as a Muslim I, I reflect on the Easter is how far the human nafs, the soul, could go when they think of something evil. You imagine that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus himself, is a preaching for the people, not just random person. The best of the best is preaching to people and they decided to crucified him, to put him on the cross, to kill him. They did they try to kill him. That is the common between Muslims and Christians and, and all religions. Remind yourself and remind others how far the soul can go when they go astray from the truth. And that's what they try to do. But it's a core value in Islam. We know that Isa was never crucified. He was never killed. And he was rising to Allah, to the heavens. Isa alayhi salam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.